Health officials say having antibodies to COVID-19 after you've been infected doesn't guarantee long-term immunity and doesn't mean you won't need to get vaccinated if you're in a high-risk group. Here's health reporter Gillian Neff. The vaccination is how we get out of this. And this is it. Are you ready? I am definitely ready. Stanford Health's Dr. Joe Feuerstein pushes up his sleeve and eagerly awaits his coronavirus vaccination. I am so psyched about this. I can't even tell you. Distribution of the Pfizer vaccine is in full force, and COVID's frontline health pros say more boxes of vaccine from Pfizer and Moderna now, too, can't come soon enough. I'm exposed to corona every single week, so I'm wearing an I-95, I'm wearing goggles, I'm wearing a face shield. The patients that I'm seeing usually have had corona for a week or 10 days. Some of the time there is no phone, I need to speak to the patient, I need to examine the patient, and I better go into the room and people are coughing on me and people are sneezing on me. Each time Dr. Feuerstein heads into work. I admit patients from the emergency room. He's highly aware of the risk. Coronavirus hit his lungs and landed him in the ER back in March. Having had corona isn't enough for you to have immunity. The research on this is developing, but we just don't know how long immunity lasts. And I don't want to chance it, so I want to give myself my immune system a boost which is literally what this is. And by the second vaccination, I'm hoping my immune system is completely primed. So if I get exposed to corona, it's not getting anywhere near me. The other thing is that immunity is not just antibodies, it's also the T cells. Researchers say how your T cells function to fight off infection affects patient outcome. Dr. Feuerstein says getting this shot lifts his worries about spreading COVID to patients and loved ones. Well, 10 months. <laughs> this is where it starts to improve. I know it's terrible and we're in the darkest of night, but there's a light shining and that was the vaccination. I'm health reporter Gillian Neff and that's your News 12 Health Report.